All right, so we're tearing down an E90 differential, but this process is the same for an E46 differential. The only thing that looks different when I tear down an E46 differential is the bearing in here is a different style. This is where your axle attaches to the differential. We're gonna remove this. You take a long object like a screwdriver and a hammer, and you put it in here, and then you hammer away. And the thing just pops out like that. You can see it's coming off. Okay, don't lose this little piece here. Now what we have in here is the axle seal right here. And this is pressed in. We're gonna wanna use something that can pry it up from the inside, pull it together so it's not pressed around the outside and it'll come right out. So I just use a hammer. All right, so once that seals out, you'll see the bearing in here and you'll see this big clip. So what you wanna do with the clip is you can use snap ring pliers, but they usually break. Uh, snap ring pliers are usually not strong enough for these clips. And so I use these pliers. You'll notice there's a long lever here and a short uh, plier actual part because I need a lot of leverage to get that snap ring to close. So then I'll come in here and then squeeze, see if you can see that, so I'm gonna squeeze it, wiggle the ring out, and I should be able to pull this sucker out. So it looks like that. You can see the uh, numbering, 3.72. This is a shim. This is for setting the backlash on the differential gear, and so this is very important that you remember which side it came out of. Now these bearings can just come out. So you really have to pull this thing out straight. There we go. So the bearing's out. Now this is much different than what you'll see on an E46 bearing, but I like these bearings better. This is an E90. All right, now we're gonna un unbolt this and we can take this, uh, we can actually take the differential out of this case. Now that we've taken all these bolts out, we want to pull off this rear cover, and fluid's probably gonna come out, so I have a drain thing up here. All right, so this is gonna come off, and we're gonna get fluid coming out. There's lots of fluid in there. What's important here is that we now can pull out our differential. All right, so once you get your diff out of the case, you put it in the vise, and it's time to pull off your bearing races. And so what I've done here is instead of using the traditional puller that comes with the bearing puller, is I use a three jaw puller on top of that with a three eighths extension going down into the center of the dip. This is a lot more stable and uh, that thing will come right off. And so this is how I set it up. Other people don't do it this way, but I found that this is the easiest way for me to do it. Now we can tighten this uh, down and the bearing race will come right off. The race is off. Here we are, the race is off. Now we can take it out of the uh, bearing puller. All right, after you remove the bearing races and label which one goes on which side, you have this differential unit left with 10 of these little bolts. And these go in, in here and they hold the ring gear on. Now what I do, because of the shape of this differential, is I stick it in a vise like this, and then I use a breaker bar to take out all the 10 bolts. Now. Uh, the gear will come off the diff and this is your differential completely disassembled. We are going to be transferring the parts over to the new differential. So this gear is going on my wave track. So let's go take a look at the parts that we have on the floor. All right, so now the differential is completely disassembled. We have all the driver's side parts here and all the passenger side parts here. And we keep these together so that we reinstall them the same way. This bearing race goes with this shaft. And so typically when we drop the limited slip differential into the case, we usually end up having to leave the shims as is, but I'll go over that in the next video when we put everything back together and measure the backlash and so on. So that is it. Time to clean up, put everything away, and get ready for the installation.